Well, hi there, everyone. Welcome back to Geektopia Island. Of course, my name is Cardwell. Today, we have some great news for you. We have created a deck builder app for Force Soil. Uh, thanks to all the patrons that have supported over the years, we were able to bring you FOW Grimoire. And with this app, sadly, it is only on Android for the moment of this video release, but we are working on iOS immediately. And with that, we are going to show you how it works and what we need to do with that. So, Kevin, roll that beautiful bean footage. All right, guys, Kevin here. We're going to go through the Force of Will Grimoire that I have on my phone for now. And it is only on Android currently, but we are working on an iOS one, so that is going to be coming soon. But here we go. Force Will Grimoire, and it's it's very simple to use, very very straightforward as a deck builder, and that's we, we tried to make it as best we could. We all have a deck builder on our phone before, and we've all wanted to put as many functions as we could. So you can search easily by any kind of card name. Uh, we'll search by Mikage, he'll be the boy today. And it literally pulls up every card that has Mikage in the name. Up and, and you can like, you can search for different things and make it easier for you. So you can go Mikage and then we'll go destroy on card text. So it shows you any Mikage that has destroy in the name or in the uh, box. So the Mikage sisters, and then it pulls up what they do. Since they have Mikage in the name and they have destroy on the card, it, sh it pulls them up. Uh, so forth, so on. And then you go back, back, and you can search to rarity. So you can go rare, and then it'll still have Mikage destroying rare, which there's not right now, but you just take out some of the things and it'll pull up everything that you need. So Mikage rares, Mikage Seijiro, Seijiro's Game of Dreams, so forth, so on. Um, you just have to make sure you take everything out when you're searching for this stuff. So like you can go search by different types as well. Addition, addition field, and addition J resonator. So let's go addition, search, and it shows you all the additions that you have and their cost and what you can do for them. So ancient frozen casket, cost of balloon two, so forth, so on. Um, you just gotta make sure you delete everything to go to the next whatever. You can search by race or trait, and it literally pulls up everything. So like, uh, let's go with aura. Actually, yeah. It'll pull up all the auras and it searches them up. So you got like Scarlet's Testament, Lightning Speed Crash, all the Winds of the Almost Moon auras that were there. And you can search literally any of the races that were traits. So there's a huge list. Just have fun looking through it. Um, you can also search by set, Alice Origins 1, 2, 3, Ancient Knights, Battle Bad Eractia, so forth, so on, Ghost in the Shell, any of them. And so like you search by Lost Tomes and it'll pull up all the cards in the Lost Tomes, so forth. Uh, you can, you just gotta make sure you take all that off, otherwise your search can get messed up. You can go to Format, Alice Cluster, no New Frontiers, so forth, so on. Attack and defense, you can search by less than or equal to that attack or defense. You can search by lower cost, upper cost, you can go to like one to six. And it'll show you all the one to six dudes, so forth, so on. Um, you just gotta take all that out. You can search by colors and you go by and, or, or none. Um, so we're gonna search by white and it'll pull up all the white cards. And it pulls up all the multicolor ones too that have white in them, so just make sure you know that. And if you want to search white black, you search them up. Easy enough, easy enough. Um, and then you just clear everything and you can go back to the other. That is it for the search function. It's really, really simple. Like it takes just a little bit to figure it out, but it's not, it's not awful. Once you get to the decks, you can make, it'll show you any decks that you have. And currently, if you're just on basic, it has two deck limit, but once you upgrade to premium, you can have as many as you want. Um, and once you get to the decks, it'll show you how they lay out. And it shows ruler, extra deck, resonators, spells, stones, and sideboard. And it'll always be in that order, and it's really, really simple for it. So you have your ruler, and you have your extra deck, and you can upgrade cards from it, and minus cards from it. 
and show the, and it click on the card and it'll take it to you take you to it um so for so on any of the things do that so you can click on it and go to it and that is it for the deck on like what it looks like you just click on the card and find it um but you can also uh share decks by either text or by email and you can delete the deck but we'll go ahead and make a deck so it'll be fun to see so you get a new deck and we're gonna just go makage because i'm just gonna play a makage so you click on it and there there's nothing there yet so you go search and we're gonna go makage search we're gonna put makage reya in this deck so down here at the bottom where it has everything you click on the two different decks you have you go to the Makage deck and you click on where it goes. So like resonators, and then you're gonna add, you're gonna add four of them, so you add four. Four of them got added. Then you go back, we're gonna add in Blood of the Makage. So you go to spells, one, two, three, add. And we're gonna play, uh, where is he? We're gonna play Rhea as the ruler, since she is a Makage, so ruler add and then finally we'll put in Ashara she goes to the not extra deck resonators and there's four of them and then now I'll show you what it does so it goes to the deck you go back to the deck go to Makage and it shows you what you put in there so I have ruler Maka or Rhea I have eight resonators so far which is Makage Rhea and Shara and then spells you have three so let's say I want to go down to to two of those and I want to go up some more of these if I could you can't you just it, and it auto changes everything it's super super handy so this way you know what you have in the deck and what you need to take out um, overall it's it's a very simple app to use and if you want to upgrade you just go to the settings and you upgrade to premium and it takes out when you upgrade it takes out the ads at the bottom it removes the deck limit so you can have as many decks as you want and you can also download cards for offline so like if you want to have it offline you can and then the final thing that we all wanted to make sure because some people like the other side where it's brighter you can see everything but some people don't I personally like it darker so you can see everything easier but it's up to you overall deck is super fun it's it's really good to use guys I've been using it for all of our deck techs lately and it's super nice so go check it out and see what you like and then let us know. See y'all later.